Hi friends, once the 3D printer began to print badly, appeared the gaps when printing. What to do, I thought. To solve the problem I tried to change the settings in the slicer, such as temperature, print speed and others, dried plastic, but nothing helped. I thought that the reason in the plastic and can in me, but the problem was more banal. Broke the lever that presses the filament to the feed gear. Once again, just broke down the clamping mechanism and I spent a lot of time on the selection of print settings. I had about that face when I saw it. So many bad models flew into the trash. By the way, before the breakage periodic emissions were also observed. The pressure roller did not press the filament hard enough against the feed gear. Because of this, there were constant slippage. The reason is the lack of spring elasticity. So, can be initially or over time. For normal operation of the feeding mechanism, it is necessary to adjust the spring stiffness with a special screw, if available, or print special spacers. I'll tell you about them later. To normally print the item, you need to pull the lever and tighten the screw. Finished printing the model to the end. That's better, right? There are two solutions to the problem. First, order an extruder in China. Links will leave in the description. Second, find a 3D model of the lever and print. Wait a month is a very long time, so we will print. On the website Thingiverse I chose two models, one normal, the other with adjustment. Printed a simple version. It was good, it's pla plastic, filling 50%. This is enough, the detail was very tough. Now you need to remove the filament and remove the extruder lever. A special toothed nut is soldered into this lever. In the printed model there is a hole in which the screw will be screwed. Unscrew the pressure roller and install on a new part. Now fasten to the extruder. Do not tighten the screw too much. The lever should be moved freely. After installing the new part, the spring stiffness was not enough and the rod sometimes slipped. Therefore, even for a simple lever, it is advisable to print this extruder tension fix. They have walls of different thickness and thus you can set the desired pores on the roller. Compress the spring and install spacer. Now the downforce is enough. Now let's make a test print. I printed a wall mount for a table lamp made of ABS plastic. It was great. There is no gaps. Hooray! And what do you think? Write in the comments. And here is a lever with the ability to adjust the stiffness of the spring. Also great print. An additional part holds the screw with the roller on both sides. This is a good thing. But the native screw is too short, it is bad. But the lever can be used without this part. To adjust the spring it is necessary to choose a screw with a nut. Now you can at any time with great accuracy to control the force of the roller pressure on the filament. Which of these models to choose you decide. There are other options. You can also buy a new metal extruder in China. Links will leave in the description. So to sum up, the force of pressure on the plastic thread directly affects the print quality. If the pressure is too weak, the fit pinion will not be able to move the filament. As a result, gaps during printing. If the pressure is too strong, it can deform the filament and increase the load on the motor shaft. If there are gaps when printing, first make sure you have the correct print settings. If it's correct, adjust the spring stiffness. Adjusting screws starting with a quarter turn or a fix starting with 0.5 mm. The thread slippage can be seen with the naked eye. If the feed pinion is rotating and the plastic is not moving, it's time to increase the pressure. Perhaps this is all. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful for you. 
See you in the next videos. Good luck. Bye.